In today's video, I'm gonna replace this LED controller with this ESP32 board and WLED. Let's get to it. What's up guys and welcome to Top Shelf Media. So today we're gonna to be trying to replace this Lumery controller with this ESP32 board. Now this Lumery controller was previously to their outdoor string lights and I did a video on those a few months ago. So if you want to go check those out, I'll link them up in the YouTube card. But this controller has since quit working. Now Lumery has since sent me a replacement. So all my lights are working, but I have a controller now that's just sitting here and doesn't work. Then I saw Chris Mayer's video, and I think that's how you say his last name. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But I saw his video on replacing the Govi Permanent Lights controller with an ESP32 board running WLED, and I thought, that's a good idea. Now my goal is to reuse this box, so I'm gonna try and get it open in a way that I can reuse it. Don't know if that's gonna work out well or not, and actually now saying it out loud, probably not gonna work out. If it doesn't, I do have a spare box, so I'll just drill some holes in. The most important part of this, are the actual cables, actually really the ends of the cables because that's how they connect to the lights. So I want to try and preserve those, which should be super simple. If I can't get in the box, just cut them here as close to the box as possible. I'm gonna try and get into this thing. Like I said, don't know how well that is gonna work. I'm also gonna try and do it without cutting myself. You know, stabbing myself with a screwdriver doesn't really sound like fun. Cool. Almost stabbed myself. I'll be right back. I didn't melt the plastic, you melted the plastic. It smells like burnt plastic. So clearly we're not reusing this box because um, I cut it open and uh, not really gonna be able to reuse it. So we will be doing this one. So I will drill some holes in this one so that way we can get the cables through. I'm gonna use Wago connectors rather than soldering it just because this isn't a permanent install. So I'm just trying to see if it'll work. So we're gonna use some Wago connectors. Plus they're just, they're so much easier than soldering. There's a point in the video when I should say, I'm not an electrician. Take what I'm doing with a grain of salt. Um, do at your own risk. All right, I decided I'm gonna cut these cables out of here and then just pull the uh, wires back through if I can. I'm gonna go drill this out right now, and then um, we'll prep the wires and get wiring up. Okay, I have the box prepped and ready to go. This worked out really well. I was able to get those grommets or whatever you wanna call them in there, just the, the sealed in there, the rubber pieces in there. Um, pretty good, and they fit. this fits in there pretty dang well. So here's what we're gonna do. I got my ESP32 board. Now, I know white is power, so white is gonna go into VIN. Black is ground. So that's gonna to go to GRD or GND right here. And you can see how these just kind of slip right over these. Real nice. Green is my data. And I'm going to do, because that's what I usually do, is pin D2 is how I usually run my data from here. So if, if You've never used an ESP32 board before. You'll see all these pins are labeled on this side right here. So I have my VIN, I have my ground, and then I have my D2 pin. Don't necessarily need male ends on the ends of these because I could cut these shorter and I might cut these shorter once I go to shove it all in here. So I am going to prep the other ends of the wires now. So this is set and ready to go. So now I can come in here and we are just going to Cut back some of this sheathing a little bit. Okay, so now I get to grab my connectors here and hopefully I have enough. I did not check before I started filming. When wiring this up, how I'm going to do it is I'm gonna take my green data, put it in the two pin or two way go connector. And the nice thing about these is these fit right in here and hold these breadboards. So that's why I didn't cut the ends off yet. Like I said, when I go to stick it in there, I probably will. And then I can take my data for here, stick it 
stick it in there. Make sure that it's crimped down on the cable, not on the outer coating. I have done that where I've pushed it in a little too far and the lights didn't work because there was no current going to it. So um, be careful of that. Now, what I need to do is take my white cables, put them into this one, that white cable, this white cable, and then the white cable coming from the outlet, or what will be the outlet. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the three black cables here. Okay, we should be all wired up now. I need to plug it in. Power it back up. We got a red light, so we got power. Okay, let's go into configure. LED preferences, 15 lights. Now I'm not sure what I need to select here. So this is gonna be a little bit of a testing process, but we do know data comes from pin two. So let's save, go back, hit power. Oh buddy. Not all the lights are on, but we are getting close. Plus they're supposed to be solid color. They're definitely not a solid color. So let's do this. We're gonna change our color to red, see what happens here. Okay, so we changed a few, a few of them changed with it. So let's go blue. Okay, interesting. So we're gonna need to figure a few things out here. All right, so all I'm doing here at this point is going through all of these outputs and just trying to figure out every combination to figure out which one looks the best. So I'll change the output and then I'll change the color order. I even tried changing this swap drop down, but it just seems to reset to none every time I hit save. So it doesn't really update, but I'll put on screen what I ended up going with to get these results. All right, guys, it works. Now, does it work great? No. I'm missing about a third of the spectrum. Anything around a blue color just comes in warm white. So we're having an issue there. Makes sense, these LEDs were not made to use an M32 board. They were made to use their own dedicated controller. But it would work in a pinch. The scenes work okay, you just don't get a blue color in any of the scenes. So it would work if you needed it to, but obviously contact Lumery if you have an issue with your controller. They sent me one right away. So I'm assuming they'll work with you too, but contact them, let them know. Probably a better option than trying to do it yourself. Like I said, it would work, but not really necessary. Now I will say, if I do end up using this ESP board with lights like this, I'd probably use them inside because I really don't know if I want to use this box around it because I don't know if it's going to get warm in there being that it's enclosed water and air tight in there. I don't know for sure if it's gonna cause a heat issue with the ESP board. It hasn't started getting warm yet. It's been on inside of here for probably 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but just something to keep an eye on. I don't want anyone you know, melting this, starting a fire, and blaming me. So just keep an eye on it. Like I said, if I do decide to use a setup like this, it's probably gonna be inside where I won't need this box. What's up guys, Editor Mike here. So I just wanted to hop on real quick to finish up this video and let you guys know that the stuff you saw before this was shot a couple weeks ago. And in the last couple weeks, I've tried testing this off and on and I'm coming up with the same results. Using the ESP32 board with the Lumery lights isn't ideal, but I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions to try and make this setup work or if you've actually gotten this to work because I would love to make a part two to this video where we figure out how to actually make this function properly. So let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas and I will get a part two done if one of those ideas actually works. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and I've put some things on screen for you to go check out. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and I will see you in the next video.